Dylan doesn't carry cat. He has a checkbook, but it's in a box. Somewhere. He's never actually used it. He came to church with a friend just to check it out, and something struck a chord with him. He wanted to give when they passed the offering plate, but he didn't have any way to do that. Dustin and Tracy have three small kids. Whenever they go somewhere, they have a long list of things they need to take. Diapers, bottles, there's no more room in the bag. Taking along a checkbook is the last thing they think about. So when they decide to bring the kids to church, they forget to bring money along every time. Travis and Jody are in church every week, but last week they were on vacation out of town. And with all the plans and cleaning up when they got home, they weren't even thinking about their offering at a service they didn't attend. Naomi suffers a chronic illness and can't make it to the service. She watches the service online, but while she watches the offering, she wishes there were a way for her to drop something in the plate as easily as those who are present at the service. Ali lives in Finland, but he's been listening to the sermons every week via podcast for almost a decade. He would love to show his appreciation by making a donation, but mailing a check would be a huge hassle. We're having a door offering this week to support our soldiers, but half the congregation didn't bring any extra cash or checkbook to contribute, so what we gather isn't nearly as much as it could have been. Every once in a while, the snow gets so bad that we have to cancel a service. But even though the furnace is running more than ever to combat the cold, we don't benefit from the offering that week. And it's Christmas, and people are feeling generous and want to make extra year-end donations, either because they're in the spirit or because they need the tax write-off. But they're out of town visiting family, so that donation will just have to go somewhere else where they can easily give. Introducing the solution to every one of those situations. Online giving. Now, you don't even have to write out a check each week. You can decide what percentage of your income you'd like to give back to God for His glory and give right from your computer or mobile device. It's easy and you can set up a recurring donation so that you can honor your commitment no matter where you are over the weekend. But what if you don't have internet access? We have a tablet on the premises that will allow you to easily create an account and get set up and we will continue to pass the plate for those who prefer to use cash or check. But don't we have to pay fees to use online giving? Yeah, the fee is around 2% per transaction. But just one person deciding to tithe on their income because we've made it easy will more than compensate for all the fees we would accrue. So even if you already give regularly, we encourage you to make it even easier on yourself by making the commitment to set up recurring giving. When the Salvation Army made online giving available, the bell ringers who had that capability increased their average donations from $2 to $15. In addition to the convenience, you also get easy access to reports on your giving, and you're following the biblical model of first fruits, the commitment to honor God with your finances before anything else, trusting that He will provide for you. So go ahead and get started now. As God has blessed you, you can be a blessing to others. And we just made it easy.